Parkhouse Gallery offers an excellent chance to invest in art and to watch that investment grow. Parkhousegallery.com is an excellent worldwide platform for my work. Now's a very good time to invest in art. Online sales have grown 24% in the last 12 months alone. Parkhouse Gallery has been set up by Digital and General Publishing London Limited to enable investors to see a wide range of art online, providing an exclusive platform for both artists and investors in a proven, expanding market. Meet CEOs Malcolm Stewart and Paula Taylor, David Taylor, Director of Online Operations, Deputy Chairman Alan B, and Chairman Roger Bailey of Digital and General Publishing, the owners and operators of Parkhouse Gallery. Together they offer a traditional high quality service to both the investor and client. The art market is a hundred billion dollar a year business worldwide and yet so little of this market is currently online. However, online sales are increasing. They've reached $3.27 billion now, and that's up 24% in the last 12 months. So there's never been a better time or place to invest either as a buyer of art or as a shareholder in DGP. DGP chairman Roger Bailey is an entrepreneur with a wide variety of experience, from commercial property to manufacturing and NASDAQ media mergers. However, it is his artistic interests, photography and art direction that have been the inspiration to start this project and make it succeed. Through Park House Gallery, DGP provide a long-term client relationship with our buyers, including registering and recording the print production dates, sales dates and any resales if requested. All this information will be held in a secure environment to protect clients' investments. DGP currently have a library of approximately 8,000 images and Roger Bailey has brought together a very experienced team to manage it, who know about marketing, know about art and who can provide the business acumen needed to make this gallery become a commercially successful enterprise. Alan B is Deputy Chairman who has for many years consulted for Roger on initial marketing concepts on a wide range of projects. In cultural terms, Britishness is our greatest asset. Our culture is to Britain as sun and sand is to Spain, our economic prosperity. There is so much interest worldwide for investing in art and DGP through Parkhouse Gallery provides the exclusive platform for investors who want to see a solid return. Parkhouse Gallery will hold a wide and evolving range of art genres to appeal to a diverse audience, majoring on limited edition prints coupled with the potential to purchase original art. With limited edition prints being a common first purchase, we're consciously targeting the overlap between early stage buyers and their preference to use online channels as a way to acquire art. This connects directly with our online marketing strategy. As well as working the social media channels, we will also be contributing articles and content to websites that people interested in art and photography will habitually go to. Young people might find art galleries an intimidating environment to be in. Um, people nowadays, especially young ones, first time buyers, kind of comfortable sitting in their own home, going on the tablet and flicking, looking at images that they like and choosing art from there. We have worked hard to make sure that the online gallery looks good and works well on PC, tablet and mobile. We have made it a more engaging experience by adding extra information about the artists. The artists associated with the gallery are diverse. They know that Parkhouse Gallery can put their art and images on an international pedestal, allowing purchasers and investors to view their unique pieces and choose to invest in an object that is not only aesthetically pleasing, but will protect the investment. What a wonderful platform this gallery offers artists. It's a chance for their work to be seen by the public worldwide. Artist John Brooks is a graduate of Sheffield School of Art and Design and Birmingham University. John was brought up in the 70s on a diet of minimalism and colour field painting, so it comes as no surprise that colour and texture are a big feature of his work. I don't try and reproduce photographs. I actually use photographs in my work, but it's the painting that's the driving force. The actual putting paint down, the actual things you can do with paint, the illusion of what you're, of what you're creating. And I think the face, is, it, it, just, it was just the challenge of doing it. It was just the challenge. And right now, I'm really into my portraits. John's more recent work with the human form has sparked a lot of interest internationally. 
His portraits in oils and also some of his figure work employ his almost manic application, removal and reapplication techniques. I'm really looking forward to working with Parkhouse Gallery. They've got a great business plan. It's hard enough as it is for artists to get their work out there, let alone get it out there worldwide, which is all, what all artists need. We need exposure. Uh, this is a great vehicle for getting it out there. Working in isolation in my studio day after day, it's exactly what I need and I'm really looking forward to it. It's a hundred billion dollars a year market and Parkhouse Gallery packages it and makes it affordable, accessible and enjoyable to investors.